Hey guys, it's Tasha Lanise and I am back with another video. I am in a different scenery. This is usually where I just do sit down videos, but I'm changing up my scenery. This is one of many, possibly. So, um, if you are new here, welcome. I usually don't like to say hit the subscribe button in the beginning of the video because I wanna make sure that you make it to the end to like the video, but since you're here, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you will know when I upload a new video. I'm trying to get back on my schedule of two videos a week, but um, bear with me. January was a trial run for 2020, and yeah. Um, so my hair is freshly washed. This will be a wash and go video. Um, y'all, I'm kind of in a dilemma, kind of, but not really. So this line not line this product that i'm about to try i've tried it once i've had it since last year like in the summertime like may or june um and i used it once and then i never picked back up but the leave-in for it oh my god um it is the my l pomegranate and honey curl smoothie i like i said i love the leave-in from this line and I want to pair it with the pomegranate and honey coil sculpting custard. Now, I do love this. I have tried this with the leave-in, just the leave-in and this. And it worked pretty well. But I don't think I tried it with the curl smoothie. My only problem is this has a soft hold. This is going to be my leave-in instead of the actual leave-in. And this says enhances curl with soft definition i kind of want it to last more than like two or three days so what i think i'm going to do because this says enhanced curls with deep definition but i don't think it's gonna give me the hold that i want so i think i want to pair it with the wet line extreme gel which i have paired it before with this i will leave that video down below in the description box so i think what i'm gonna do is the curl smoothie the curl coil sculpting custard and the wet line extreme gel and that's just what we gonna do because of, uh, <laughs> i only wash my hair once a week baby you know nothing major but once a week is all you get out of me so the curl smoothie says the definition is soft and the product consistency is i guess medium this is the little definition thing i love my L products i only use this line <laughs> and i use the baba cement deep conditioner but uh this line and that i do have a video with the leave-in conditioner and the twist and souffle my twist off came out bomb i'll leave that down below in the description box i use the leave-in conditioner core sculpting custard and well line extreme killer combo from kimberly shirell in the description box and do i have something else you all this color is not fading like i thought i was gonna go black like within a month mm -mm. this color ain't going nowhere i'll leave that video in the description box so i kind of broke the pump when i first used it but this is a thick consistency probably should have took my braid down huh <sighs> y'all bear with me it's a different type of day i cannot wait till y'all see the video where i um on the deep conditioner that i used oh my god yeah i feel like i'm about to waste this setup is new so, uh, yeah. Okay. I don't know if I like pump shot. Sure. Thick. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna need some more. 
y'all. Broke a pump again. What do I do? Y'all, I had to take the top off because our uh, pump broke. When working, mine's gonna come on. All right. Already, I feel like it definitely could not stand on its own for a long time. It feel moisturizing though. I am gonna give it that. This film was I feel like I need a lot of it. But then again, I am about to put two other things on here. So I probably should chill. Good definition though. So now I'm going in with the core sculpting custard. It's real custardy. Real slimy. Snotty. I feel a short jaw. Not bad. Y'all, this core sculpting custard be giving off major shine. But I'm about to come through with this wet line and take away this frizz, though, because it's bothering me. But it's not bad. It's actually not bad at all. Like, for real, not bad at all. But this frizz got to go. Y'all, it's not bad. Oh, it's not bad. But I feel like it's not gonna be like a whole hole. Unless I use a lot. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna do the wet line. Cause I can't. If y'all don't know what the wet line gel is, it's it's regular gel. It's but it's bay. It's life. Y'all see that? Frizz, be gone. <laughs> What time is it? Do I got some time to spare? A little bit, a little bit. I might go ahead and shingle. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Let's see. Y'all, that, that wet line don't play with that frizz.
guys. This is my wet result. Let us pray. One, that this comes out good. But other than that, that I do not get sick because I literally just had to run outside in the winter. And it is... Let's check the weather. Oh, I'm in the Bahamas. <laughs> it is 33 degrees outside. So, yeah. Let's pray that I don't get sick. Um, so far, I love the definition of it. But I knew I was going to get definition for the simple fact of the, the coil sculpt and custard and the wet line extreme gel. But I wanted to see what my hold is going to look like with the curl smoothie instead of the leave-in. And also, a lot of people were saying that like the leave-in and the curl smoothie flake together. That's why... I didn't want to use those two together. And then when I use the curls, I never use those two together. So yeah, there's that. But um, this is the back. So I'm going to sit underneath my hooded dryer because we know that diffusing is not going to happen with me today. I got stuff to do. So um, I'll be back after I'm dry. Okay, guys. This is my dried results. Um, Kind of looks like the wash and go with, you know, when I use the leave-in definitely defined definitely shiny um it feels moisturized it wasn't that much of a cast which makes me wonder how much of a hold i'm gonna have and for how long but uh i scrunched off the crunch with this my dna treatment oil is life natural so hobo oil is a multi-purpose treatment um you can actually use it on your skin but this is what i use to scrunch off the crunch and y'all this is what I use to lay down my edges. This is my second one. I have a third one, but it's black. And I think I'm about to go buy another one of these because like literally this is pretty much the only edge control I use. And my edges be laying down until I wash my hair again, like no exaggeration. So, uh, yeah, I do like it, though. I love it. I actually love it. I've been into, like, big hair lately, like, big hair on first day. So, I might make this big, or I just might let it get bigger on its own because I don't want to mess up the definition. But, again, I did use the Myel Pomegranate and Honey Curl Smoothie, the Myel Pomegranate and Honey Core Sculpting Custard, and the famous Wetline Extreme Gel. So, if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to please comment and subscribe. We're in the month of February. I didn't get my 150 subscribers, but I'm still going big or going home. So, so February, let's see if we can get me to 200 subscribers. Y'all, I'm trying to work this year, you feel me? And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.